What is going on, you guys? I am freaking jazzed. Um, I was talking to the wife tonight. Um, we had the 10% eBay bucks that was going on till midnight tonight. Um, so she, she was like, hey, should I buy a case of, of Pokemon cards? Because um, we open a, a box of Pokemon cards with Landon every Friday night or every other Friday night. We've made Friday nights our Pokemon night. Um, which has been pretty fun, and he definitely looks forward to that every Friday. Um, so I was like, should I buy a case? And that would last us like almost two months. Or should I buy a card for my collection and take advantage of this 10% eBay bucks deal? And, uh, oh, she made me so proud. She was like, buy a card for your collection. I was like, oh, I love you. Um, so I went on eBay and I found a card that I've been looking for for a long time for my personal collection. Um, it isn't anything that's super hard to find. Um, it's super hard to find for an affordable price. Um, and so the, the seller had it for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And so I sent him an offer for about 55% of what he was asking for. And I, I wrote him and was like, hey, I'm like, I just sent you this offer as a starting point. Um, we have this 10% eBay bucks that ends tonight at midnight. I would like to hammer out a deal before then, but I just want to let you know if we don't finish a deal, um, I'm not interested in the card. And he responded with accepting my freaking offer, man. Um, yeah, I, w I went bananas. Um, this was just a couple minutes ago, so I'm still freaking smiling. Um, so freaking happy. Um, so we'll most definitely be doing a video when that bad boy comes in. Um, and when y'all see it, it may not be something um, and that gets you all hot and bothered in your collection. Um, but it's just a hard freaking card to get signed, man. Um, and this this particular guy just doesn't like to put inscriptions. So it's the full freaking gamut. And... It's a PSA 10 on that autograph. What's up, Joey brings it. You know where that bad boy's going already, son. You know it's going to that registry. So, I'll see y'all once again once that card comes in the mail. Adios. What is going on, you guys? The day has finally came that the card that we have already talked about has came in the mail. Um, if I would have known this card would have been in this particular package, um, I would have done it live, if you will, um, here, but you wouldn't think someone would ship a pretty damn expensive card in the same little 30 cent padded mailer that they would send like a freaking, uh, I don't know, Raphael Palmero Diamond Kings card in. <laughs> so... Um, let's go ahead and get to it. No need to keep the dramatics. 1963 Fleer, number 47, PSA DNA 10 on the autograph. Let's see if we can get rid of some of that glare here. I don't think we're going to be able to. Um, Lynn Dawson. Look at that thing. Just ridiculous. So, man, that is terrible that that doesn't show up better than that. Freaking huge, man. That is Len Dawson's rookie card. And what I was telling y'all about in the intro, these cards, um, I don't want to say that they're super hard to find because they're not terribly hard to find. Um, but when they come up, they're so damn expensive, man. Um, and this one is just a freaking gem absolute gem. I mean, it's off-centered a little bit. You can see the off-centering, but blue ink, Hall of Fame inscription, which is kind of tough to find um, with Len Dawson items. He doesn't always do the, the Hoff. So really happy. And it's a PSA 10, which is going to go spot on in the freaking registry. Um, that little bad boy set me back a little bit. Um, another thing I've been doing here lately I've been selling a ton of stuff in the NFL TTM collectors page. Um, a lot of guys are writing comments like, are you getting out of the hobby? Um, 
if you're a collector, why are you selling all this stuff? And it's, it's pretty simple, man. I'm trying to sell a lot of stuff to get awesome stuff. You know what I mean? So, I mean, essentially, that Lynn Dawson, after I sold a whole lot of things, didn't really cost me anything. Um, where it would have set me back a ton if I didn't sell some awesome stuff. So that is that. You could probably look forward to more of that in the future. Um, bigger pickups here and there. Um, and more of me selling stuff to try to downsize the collection, but make the awesomeness whoa, like that go up. Cool. So that is that. Till next time, adios, be safe, bye-bye, toodles.